Hello, everyone. This is Phil Densher. I just want to take a moment to thank you for participating in the many uh, opportunities to uh, test uh, the new Iowa Land Record Search application. Uh, we greatly appreciate your input. Uh, we've made a ton of changes as a result of the input that we've received, uh, but we also appreciate uh, the good comments as well uh, that indicate that we're heading in the right direction. Uh, we're ready to start moving people into the production version of the application, and I think it's apropos that uh, we uh, uh, provide you with the benefit of being among the first. So uh, the purpose of this uh, quick demonstration is just to show you how to navigate to get to the search um, and to move around. Uh, we've already demonstrated the application itself. Uh, you should already be able to log in to the central authentication system with your user ID and password and uh, the token that you received by email. So let's just assume for a moment that you have logged in. Um, the, because you are an e-submitter organization, the first place you're, you're going to be taken uh, is to access the uh, search application. Uh, and I'm sorry, the submission application. And as you can see in the share, uh, the uh, welcome uh, message is there, uh, the list of pending groups, and what looks like the kind of the same menu that you're used to seeing in the upper menu bar, including the administration area where you can maintain your account information and your uh, payment information. Uh, because we are enabling you to also be uh, uh, able to access uh, the search application. Uh, there are a couple of different uh, features now uh, that distinguish between a search you might perform within the e-submission application itself and uh, the broader, more global uh, search application of uh, land records in the state of Iowa. The label for e-submission search has been changed. It no longer just simply says search, it says e-search. And if you were to click on that link, you would see that it opens up the familiar options for searching recently recorded documents to search by group name or submission number, and also to search by county. We're not going to demonstrate any of that today. Please just be aware that the e-submission search now has a new label. A new menu item has also been added, added uh, to this view, and it is going to be called ILR Search, standing for Iowa Land Record Search. And we hope that implies that you're going to be looking at a broader set of uh, uh, documents and data uh, beyond just your own e-submission documents. To access the e-submission application, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the search application, you would just simply click this link. And as you can see, the search application that you've been testing with will open up, uh, and then you will be able to perform your searches uh, as uh, you have been, and we want to encourage you to continue to test. So then the question may be, if you're in the search application, how do you get back to e-submission? And the answer to that is you can just go to this menu above and choose a submitter because you're entering the application as a submitter uh, and you'll be able to uh, access, uh, access it here. So we're going to click on submitter and that will return you to uh, your uh, e-submission screen. So as a submitter, you're still going to have access to all of the e-submission tools, uh, but you will also now have access to the search application. Uh, that's the quick uh, demo of how to navigate back and forth. Notice that you didn't have to log out and log back in. You, once you log into the central authentication system, you're going to have access uh, to both the search and the e-submission application. I uh, hope this gets you started. Uh, this is uh, really not intended to be a, a highly polished uh, demonstration or uh, webinar, uh, but we wanted to get something in your hands quickly uh, to just show you how to do the basic navigation. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. Please uh, continue to um, use the system. 
and uh, as our uh, group of trusted testers, uh, we look forward to your feedback. All right, have a great day.